Um, hi, welcome to my presentation. Over the course of the last 12 weeks, I have been doing the Asuro project for the electronic and electrical engineering course at Leeds Beckett. So with the project, there were several aims and objectives to build the robot, to see if it works, and to then use it to complete a set of challenges um, for the project. So during the testing, the testing lasted around eight weeks, as of the 12 weeks, as the first four weeks were taken up by the construction mainly. And over the course of that eight weeks, because I had so much time to test and mess about with the code, I realized I should probably do modular coding instead of creating a custom code for everything. So I'll come back to that later. Um, so for the robot itself, there was a couple of main problems that I had with my own construction of it and with the parts. Uh, first of all being that the solder, my first attempt at soldering all wasn't uh, exactly stellar. There was a couple of short circuits, like a lot of messy solder, and a lot of it was just really unorganized. So, uh, and the battery box as well. The battery box that came with the original kit broke after the first couple of battery switches, as in the springs came out, so I had to switch that out early on as well. And of course the short circuits that I mentioned. So here's the of the soldering st uh, stuff that I mentioned earlier. So I did go back, this is it improved by the way. The short circuit was here, as you can see there's no short, short circuit there now. The soldering was a lot, a lot of these were big clumps from where I tried to rush it, so I've gone and improved a lot of that now. So it's a lot neater than it was before. Uh, the programming challenges, um, so the modular code I have here. Um, it, the, using the modular code made the whole thing a lot easier, so it meant that instead of writing completely new programs, I just needed to fix and change the existing code, and then I could just reuse it. And it meant that constructing the mains, uh, the main programs that is, was a lot easier than just making everything from scratch. So, uh, as you can see, I have all the modular code in this program here as well. So, the delay function, which was instrumental in doing all the other ones, I had a half meter, a right turn, left turn, all that's split in half here. And there was a couple more and they'll be shown as more of the challenges come along. They're ones that I've added, but this was the initial array of modular code pieces that I used. Um, the one thing to note for the forward function or the half meter forward function was that the motors were slightly off balance in power. So the uh, one of them was at 180 and one of them was 174, as you can see. Uh, and that was because the right motor was slightly stronger, so I had to, you know, tone it down a little bit to make it go on par with the other motor, so it would just swerve off into the distance. Uh, the box function, basically the same as the other one, just had a right, well, I was actually using the right turn function. As you can see, I had to balance the uh, reverse and forward of either the wheels to make sure it could do tighter turns rather than just stopping it on one wheel and just having one wheel accelerate. This meant that I could work with it a lot better in the tight spaces I had to test it with. Uh, and yeah, the main function is pretty expansive, it's just a box. Uh, same with the figure of it, I had a little extension around the middle part which made it go up a little bit to start a new box, but other than that it's just left turns and made a figure of it. Um, all the other functions, the modular functions, are basically exactly the same. This is the first one where I added some new modular functions. Um, for me, I have the, I made it go slower, so uh, it would, because if it's going, the, the point is that I need to bump in stuff to get the pulse switches to work. So, and we didn't really want it to go fast all the time, otherwise it would just break. So I made the same function again, just a bit slower, with slow motor speeds here at 120 and 116. Um, and I had another back function, which was uh, slightly faster than before, because it meant that it could get back to, you know, doing the slow function. It made up for the other bit being a bit slower, basically, in terms of progress and getting around. Uh, and this is the actual function for that because the other page was too small for everything. So yeah, it's a pretty simple, just a while if else uh, loop. Uh, line follower, pretty basic. It just bounces from uh, left turns to right turns, and uh, when it detects uh, white and it's not detecting the black anymore, so it will just go between those until it can um, hit all the points that it needs to, and just keeps on following the line. So it kind of bounces between each side. It's not elegant, but it does work, and that allowed me to build more of these LED functions on top of it to help me see what was going on with it. Um, for the additional functionality for the last part of the project, I had two main ideas. Uh, one of them was a simple coding idea, where I went and um, added a reverse function, but that was 
a bit of a mess trying to add the reverse function into the uh, line following and it ended up I th maybe mechanical limitations, maybe my own problems. I couldn't ever really figure it out, but it basically meant that it didn't work. So uh, the idea I ended up going with this was a little chassis, 3D printed chassis that allowed me to put a flasher in the front of it. Uh, as you can see, this one's way too big for the robot, so here's a second design of that where I added a battery box as well, and I had this design which fits a lot nicer to it. And this is uh, the additional functionality that didn't work, the programming. Spent a lot of time on it, didn't end up going anywhere. Um, this is the programming for that, as you can see, just the line following inside the, the pulse switch. Uh, this is the final edition of that program there, or rather that fu additional functionality there, in that it's slightly smoother and slightly smaller, and I can demonstrate it here. So as you can see, it's got the batteries in it. So yeah, due to the surface it's a bit rough but it does do it and it does carry batteries and as you can see the flasher does also fit in here for extra programming so thanks for watching